Hello everyone, this is going to be a video on how to install the LSPDF XML Jurisdictions Plus file. Now, once you download this file, you will get this here. You can get either one of the map versions. And here's a picture of the map in here for you kind of shows you how I split the jurisdictions up and the readme which we'll be using now this is set to have EUP 8.0 outfits and ultimate backup which is optional for ultimate backup but you will need EUP 8 point it's 8.1 now but that was just for some minor fixes. Uh, the files are ready to play. You can install them right in. But you're going to want your custom vehicles in there. So you're going to want to change those. So be sure to go over the README. Um, I'm going to be going over it a little bit here. So you're going to want these two files first download this one first in this order it's pretty important that you do law and order then serve and rescue then you'll want to get EUP configurations what's in that file it's this you're going to go into LSPDFR data custom you're going to want the inventory and outfits files copy those don't copy duty selection or agency. Go into your directory of LSPDFR data custom. You're going to want to paste those files you copy into there. After doing so, if you have ultimate backup you're going to want to download well you're not going to need to download that but if you want it you will and moving on do kind of request you make a backup of your data file and your ultimate backup XMLs just in case um, something goes wrong you'll have it So you'll want to drag and drop the plugins and LSPDF folders into your main GTA directory. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to do version 5. I'm going to copy these. And I'm going to paste them right in here. Just find a blank spot. And hit replace. And it has installed. good and after doing that you'll want to add in your vehicles so that's what that will explain and I'll show you how to do that a little bit about it um, you'll want to open up the agency folder the way I like to do it is to open up the agency folder. I like to open up the duty selection folder and the ultimate backups into Notepad++. Reason is because anything you do in this agency file is going to reflect in these. So you can right click those, hit move to other view. You'll have your agency on the left, other files on the right. You'll want to add in your vehicles. So, you'll put the spawn names here.
here, not there. You'll set their chance. Uh, want them to equal a hundred. And if you have a livery, you'll want to go right here after a vehicle. Let's do a space, type in livery, equals quotation marks, and the number of the livery. So you'll want to have one space in between vehicle and livery, and in between the livery and the chance. But you don't want to have a space at the end mark here that needs to butt up if there's not a chance in there all right after doing so um, there is multiple loadouts so you're going to have to deal with these we got our Blaine County patrol units in with their outfits Four outfit selections means outfits you'll see in the police locker when going on duty. And we do want them doing all these three flags. Blaine County Detectives, I'm going to change to, to Blaine County Unmarked. And I'm going to remove the suit. And have the chance equal a hundred for these pads. I just don't think it's typical to have a suit for an unmarked unit, but the formal and windbreaker would work out. So this equals a hundred there, thirty percent chance of females, seventy for males. Once you add in your vehicles into here all right something to keep in mind is in the agency file you don't have to have a chance if you don't it will pick at random And you can change the name of the agency. You can change the short name. You can change the loadout names to whatever you want. Now we're not going to want unmarked patrol to respond as backup. Or I'm sorry, they can respond as backup. They cannot respond as transport. We do, however, want them to respond ambiently. The reason they can't respond is transport is because my Camaro and SRT are two doors. And I don't like the transport van, so what I'm going to do is remove this loadout. If you want to do that, you'll copy from loadout to the end tag of the loadout. Just backspace that out of there. And I'm going to give 15% chance for unmarked. 85 for marked. And that is that. That's how you will set up your agencies. Just remember the loadout chances have to equal 100. This is in the wrong spot. And the vehicle chances for a loadout have to equal 100 if you have one. And the ped chances for a loadout have to equal 100. So we got that set up. Now we want to mimic that in the default regions, which is where Blaine County is. So you want to go in the local patrol section for Blaine County 
and add these vehicles in. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up here. You do have to have chances in Ultimate Backup that is required. You can double click the name and it should highlight it or you can just paste it right over and so ultimate back up. Like so. Same deal here if you have a livery. It'll go in the same way as it would the agency. And what you want to do is copy those vehicles. Scroll down to local SWAT. If you don't have custom Blaine County SWAT vehicles, you can paste those in there. You'll want uh, to do that for the female local patrol also for Blaine County. And you'll want to go on down to K9, put them in there. Of course, if you have custom K9 vehicles, that's where you would put them here instead. But if you don't, you can just do that. So LSPD, LSSD, Blaine County, State, all go in here. The custom regions now has a lot going on. So we're going to do a custom region agency real quick. How to make sure that chance was in the right spot. So we'll do Del Perro. What you're going to want to do, it's the same thing here. So I'm just going to do that really fast. And for your time's sake, I'm just going to have this one load out. So I'm going to remove the others. No bike units, no detectives, no transport. We're going to want to add those in the vehicles into the custom region folder. It's trying to make me do it backwards. All right. So what you want to do is look for Del Perro in the custom region and add the vehicles in here. So I'm just going to copy this over four more times. Change the chance so they equal 100. And adjust the names real quick. You're going to want to also copy those vehicles and do the same thing here. Go on down to female, local patrol for Del Perro, and paste those vehicles in there for the ladies. 
And if you have a custom Del Perro SWAT or a certain vehicle you want to use for SWAT, then you can now add that in to the Del Perro region. Or you can just use your same patrol vehicles. And there's also K9. So you'll want to customize those vehicles also. Now, if you keep going down, you'll see there's an ambulance slot for if you have a custom ambulance for, say, Del Perro. This is where you would add it in, the spa name or the livery that you added to the default, however you do it. It's also fire trucks. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, save that. In duty selection, what we are going to want to do, I closed that a little too early. You're going to want to find the agency we was working out of, which was Del Perro. Copy this line. I delete it and move it to the top for however many vehicles I have. So five. Del Perro, please. Just copy that and paste it in here. And you can change the name and the full name to describe that vehicle you added. Like so. After doing so, you've pretty much done. Um, you'll want to do that for each agency. And after you have all your vehicles in, you will see them patrolling their respective regions and, and backing, uh, responding as backup and ultimate backup or LSPDFR. Uh, something I want to show you real quick is if you want Blaine County in LSPD uniforms instead of sheriff outfits, you want them in actual department outfits sorry not Blaine County um, I meant to do Sandy Shores so right now they're in Blaine County if you want them to be in LSPD all you do is copy from the LSPD agency from PEDS to PEDS ah messed up. Pets to pets and paste them over. So all you gotta do that is what they will wear now. Uh, you'll also want to do that for custom regions. Same deal. Find the LSPD PED section in the default regions paste it into the custom regions of Sandy Shores and you will be good to go. I hope this helps you guys and have a good time.